Hello everyone, this is lecture 4 on topic time and work, where we'll start with a new type of problem today, that is a problem based on negative efficiency. Imagine a situation where a man is building a wall, meanwhile there is another man who is destroying the same wall. Don't you think both are working in opposite direction? So in today's lecture, for the first time you'll come across with problems involving negative efficiency. I hope the agenda is clear, let us start. So let us understand this concept by the help of this example. Let's read the example once. Pipe A can fill the tank in 4 hours, while a leak can empty the same tank in 6 hours. If the tank is empty and both are open, both means pipe and leak, in how much time will the tank be full? Uh, before I tell you how to approach this question, let me first write down the data. There is a pipe, pipe A, which can fill a tank in 4 hours while there is a leak which can empty the same tank in 6 hours. Now, this is the first time I am looking at a question where there are two things, there are two entities. One is pipe and second is leak which are working in different direction where a pipe is filling the tank but a leak is emptying a tank. So, can I say that these two entities are working in opposite direction? Since pipe is filling the tank and leak is emptying the tank, so they both are working in opposite direction. And therefore, for the first time you will see a question where we will deal with negative efficiency. These are problems based on pipes and system. Now, in pipes and system, instead of doing a job, instead of completing a work, here the work would be to fill the tank. Let's say it's a tank. And the objective is either to fill the tank or to empty the tank. Now, what I don't know, I'm not aware about its capacity. And for that only, we are going to assume the total capacity of tank. So, instead of assuming total work here, we are going to assume total capacity. That is the only change. And how to assume total capacity? Same thing. The way we used to assume total work, in the similar fashion, we are going to assume total capacity of tank. 4 and 6 LCM, it would be 12. So, let me assume the total capacity of tank as 12 units. So, what we are saying, if I try filling the tank, the maximum it can fill up to is 12 units. If I want to fill it completely, I have to fill it by 12 units. This is what you have to understand. Likewise, if I want to empty the tank, I have to pour out 12 units of water from it. So, this 12 units is nothing. It is the volume of the container. And now let me find out efficiency of these two entities. Pipe can fill a tank of 12 units in 4 hours. So can I say that in 1 hour, the same pipe can fill only 3 units. Just divide 12 by 4, you will get 3. So 3 units in 1 hour. So this is going to be the efficiency of pipe. Now if I ask you what leak is doing, leak is emptying this 12 units of container in 6 hours. So what is the efficiency? 12 by 6. 2 units per hour. But since leak is working in the negative direction, for that I am going to use a negative sign. While the pipe is filling, so let me use positive sign in front of 3. So positive sign representing positive work. Negative sign representing negative work. So we are doing this so that there should be no confusion. Always use positive or negative sign. Positive for positive work, negative sign whenever an entity is working in the opposite direction. Now what is the question? If the tank and leak both are opened, in how much time will the tank be full? I want to find out time. Time when pipe and leak both are being operated simultaneously. What is the capacity of tank? You would say, sir, the capacity of tank is 12 units. We want to fill 12 units of the container. In that way, the tank will be completely full. And at what rate? You would say, sir, simply add the two. Since pipe and leak both are working together, so let me put together their efficiency plus 3 minus 2. It would be plus 1 unit per hour. So this plus 1 unit per hour represent when pipe and leak work together. In 1 hour, they would be able to fill only 1 unit of tank. Please try to realize when pipe is working it can fill 3 units in 1 hour. But because leak is working in the and since leak is working in the opposite direction, Leak is going to create a hindrance and therefore in one hour only one unit of tank would be filled. So at this rate, why I am taking this rate? Because pipe and leak both are being operated simultaneously. So I need their combined efficiency. Their combined efficiency is one unit per hour. 
So with this rate, how much time would be taken? You would say, sir, it would be simply 12 hours. So I hope you were able to understand how to deal with a negative efficiency problem. And if the answer is yes, let me show you one more question and then we'll close the session. Now here, there are two pipes, A and B, which can fill a tank in 8 and 6 hours. So let me first write down this data. The two pipes are A and B, which can fill the tank in 8 and 6 hours. But it takes 10 hours to get filled because of a leak. Means when all three of them are opened simultaneously, it takes 10 hours. So when pipe A, B and leak, all three of them are opened. When all three of them being operated simultaneously, it takes 10 hours. And it makes sense also. Because when the leak work karega, obviously it will take more time. Now the question is, in how much time can the leak alone empty the filled tank? And since nothing is mentioned, I'll assume that the tank is completely filled. Hai. But before I do anything, the first step is, you already know, I'm going to assume the total capacity. So in the problem based on pipes and system, your first step is to assume the total capacity of tank. That would be LCM of these numbers, 8, 6 and 10. What would be LCM of 6, 8 and 10? Try to think about it. You will say, sir, it would be 120 if I'm not wrong. Even if it's not 120, but can you see that 120 is a number which is divisible by 8, 6 and 10? Either work with LCM or any multiple of LCM. So let me use 120 units as the total capacity of tank. And now let us try finding the uh, efficiency. 120 upon 8 would be 15 units per hour. 120 upon 6, it would be 20 units per hour. Let me also mention positive sign because here I'm talking about pipes and pipe work in a positive direction and when all three of them being operated simultaneously it takes 10 hours so 120 upon 10 efficiency would be 12 units per hour with a positive sign why positive sign because if you read this statement carefully it says but it takes 10 hours to get filled so here also when the leak is working along with the two pipes a and b the tank is filling Although it takes more time, but it is filling. Therefore, I'll use positive sign because the work has been done in the positive direction. I hope this much is understood. Now, in order to find out the answer of the question, the question is in how much time can the leak alone empty the filled tank? I want to find out time taken by leak to empty a tank of capacity 120 units. And since leak is working alone here, so I need individual efficiency of leak. But if you look at these three expressions, I cannot see the efficiency of leak independently anywhere. And therefore, I need to work out with these three expressions to get the individual efficiency of leak. So this is very easy. Simply see the efficiency of pipe A, it's 15. Efficiency of pipe B is 20. Simply plug in the efficiency data here. So 15 plus 20 plus I want to calculate the efficiency of leak. This is equals to plus 12. Calculate the efficiency of leak now. Plus 12, 15 plus 20 is 35. But when I take it to the other side, it will be minus 35. And after finding the difference, you get to know, okay, the efficiency of leak is 23 with a negative sign. And this is what I was expecting. Leak ka jo efficiency hai, wo negative sign ke saath hi aana chahiye sa. So 23 units per hour. So the leak is working at what rate? At 23 units per hour. Means in every hour, leak can empty 23 units of tank. Now just plug in the value. So to empty this tank of capacity 120 units at this rate, 23 units per hour, how much time would be taken? Simply divide the numbers, you get the answer. So I'm not getting into the calculation part. I have just picked up this question so that you can understand how to approach a question of this type. Uh, so this is all from my side. I hope you were able to understand the concept of negative efficiency with the help of these two examples. Uh, with this, let's close the session. If you have enjoyed the session, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you and have a nice day.